So now we're going to do uh, mobilization and also testing of C1 on C2. If we show you off this model, basically what we're trying to do is get around the transverse processes of C1. We find C2 is going to be that prominent bony prominence, the spinous process of C2, as my landmark. I'm cradling C2 with my caudal hand, and my cranial hand is around the transverse processes of C1. I'm going to use my shoulder of my cranial hand to stabilize, and I'm going to bring, I'm going to stabilize, rather, the uh, C2 spinous process between my shoulder and C and my uh, cranial hand, I'm going to move and separate C1 from C2. Take them into flexion or into extension. Okay? Now we're going to show you on the actual patient. So I'm going to position the patient so the cranium is at the edge of the table. And I'm going to be at the head of the patient. The therapist is going to move the cranium and C1 into forward flexion by pressing with the left shoulder over the patient's forehand, rocking the cranium upwards while keeping C2 fixated. I come off, find the mastoid process. That's going to lead me to C1. Or I can come down and find C2 uh, spinous process. It's going to be the first little hump that I come to when I come off of the occiput. And as I come lateral with my thumb and forefinger, I find myself, I'm going to reverse that actually and use the other hand, I find myself on the C1 transverse processes. My shoulder is going to become a vise over the forehead and C1, and I'm also going to be straddling C2 with my stabilization or caudal hand. What you want to make sure is, is the patient is in neutral position, and from there, I'm going to move them up into flexion, rocking my body, taking them up into flexion. I can also take them down into extension, only moving them onto C1 and occiput, moves together onto a fixated C2. Okay.